Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to be talking about episode 1 of the brand new Halo series on Paramount Plus. I am a huge Halo fan and I've been waiting for this series for a long time now and I really really wanted it to be absolutely amazing like just a mind blowing Halo series centered around the Master Chief and quickly before we get started I just want to say this is going to be a spoiler free review so if you guys haven't seen the episode yet and this is going to be one of those videos that you watch to help you you determine if you're gonna watch it don't be alarmed I'm not gonna be spoiling anything for you we'll get right into my thoughts in just a second but I just want to say that this actually took about 256 scripts to finally become a thing that just shows you right there that they were kind of all over the place and didn't really have a clear vision for a halo series the fact that they spent time making over 250 scripts is kind of alarming to be honest but whatever we finally got something halo related to watch on a weekly basis and let's jump right into my thoughts on episode one so right away i'm just gonna say i thought it was pretty mid i'm not gonna lie it took elements of the halo series from all of the video games and just you know didn't really go all out on that they tried to make it their own thing the directors and everything have said that they didn't really look at the games that much when making this show which i think was a little bit of a red flag because a lot of the people that are going to be watching this show on paramount plus are huge halo fans that have played the games and what they did was they tried to make it like a generic sci-fi show feature the Master Chief, which I don't think was the right move. I think it could have been a little bit better if they were like, you know what, this is a Halo show centered around the video games. It's going to have its own story, of course, but we're not just going to make our own thing. I think if they went that route, it would have been a little bit better. And that's not to say that episode one was bad because it wasn't. It just wasn't amazing. Like I would say it was a solid six out of 10. It wasn't anything spectacular. Obviously, it could get a little bit better as the series goes on, but just off of an episode one standpoint, I was kind of disappointed. First, let's talk about Master Chief because obviously that is the focal point of the show. I thought he was done all right. Like he kind of resembles the character from the games, of course. I really like the look of the armor in some shots because some of the CGI was really iffy, which was kind of disappointing because sometimes I'm looking at the Mjolnir armor and I'm like, wow, that looks so cool in live action. And then other parts, I'm like, whoa, like the CGI just isn't up to par in some of those shots, which kind of sucks because one of the coolest things about the whole Halo series is the Master Chief Mjolnir armor and the fact that it was just kind of inconsistent in that first episode was kind of a bummer. Master Chief I thought was pretty solid in this series. It looks like they're gonna go the route of kind of uh, exploring his past and childhood and everything. I'm not gonna spoil how they do that but it is going to be something that they do explore in further episodes which I think is actually a pretty cool aspect to bring to the show. One thing that I know a lot of fans are gonna be really mad about is the fact that he does take his helmet off in this series. That's not a spoiler or anything. The directors themselves said that we are going to be getting Master Chief without the helmet a lot in this show. And the actor who plays Master Chief is Pablo Schreiber. And I think he did a pretty good job. Like granted, he didn't really have to do anything crazy because Master Chief has never been a, a really emotional character where this actor is gonna have to go like above and beyond to portray him. You just gotta have like that stern military type personality to play Master Chief. And in episode one, he does does it and he did it well. They do dive a little bit into that superhuman type soldier stuff which we don't really see too much in the video games. He does stuff like run really fast, jump really high and for the most part the movements look pretty good. There was a couple of shots where I was like eh that doesn't look quite right. But yeah Master Chief was pretty solid for the most part. Like I think there was a couple of things that they could have changed that would have made him a little bit better. Like me personally as a huge Halo fan I wouldn't really want him to ever take that helmet off and I know some fans are like oh yes but like we get more immersed with that character with the helmet off but for me a big part of Master Chief was just having that helmet on and always having that wonder of like what does he look like what does he act like with the armor off and everything and unfortunately we don't keep that mystery that long in the show. The Covenant of course is in this show too and I think they were done all right they just weren't how I wanted them to look because I knew the budget of the show was huge and I was like I want some really realistic looking elites and unfortunately they didn't look that great in a lot of the scenes but some shots looked all right it was just really inconsistent just like Master Chief's armor but these guys are brutal and the mature rating for this show definitely shows because even in the first few minutes like people's legs are getting shot off people are getting blown up by plasma rifles like it's just crazy and I didn't know that the rating was mature for this show too so I was like oh damn like they're they're going all out right now which I like because this is a space military story and it makes sense that there's going to be a lot of casualties and 
some pretty messed up stuff happening, so I'm glad that they did show that. The action was alright in this show too, it wasn't anything amazing, but it wasn't horrible. Just bang average in my opinion, like it just wasn't very memorable. One thing that was pretty cool though is there's like a POV of Master Chief and the other Spartans using their weapons, and it looks like you're playing the video game, like it's basically the first person view holding the gun, and it was actually a really cool camera angle to use in this show, and I really appreciated that because I've put a ton of hours into the Halo games and that just really reminded me of playing them. And the last thing that I want to talk about in this non-spoiler review is the story because I thought it was kind of lackluster. Essentially the UNSC is trying to control the entire galaxy and some people don't want to be controlled by them. So there are rebels and it really just kind of feels like Star Wars. Master Chief and the other Spartans are kind of like these special enforcers that go around taking out Covenant and just keeping order in that galaxy. And I thought the group dynamic between the Spartans was pretty good and I really hope that they dive into that a lot because I think that would be a really cool thing to explore like the relationships between the Spartans in multiple episodes. Other than that there's not really that much to the story in episode one like if you've seen the trailers you know that there's this little um, artifact that Master Chief finds. It affects him in a whole bunch of different ways and essentially the UNSC and the Covenant and everyone are trying to get that object and this object could turn the story into something really cool or something really dull. Obviously I hope it turns into something awesome but we didn't really learn too too much about it in the first episode but I'm sure we're going to learn more about it especially in the second episode because from what I've heard there's not really a lot of action it's a lot of just kind of drama and just talking and story so I'm guessing we're going to learn quite a bit about that object next week but overall I gotta say that was a pretty bang average episode like just nothing super memorable happened and it wasn't horrible by any means either that's why I gave it a 6 out of 10 it just wasn't something that kind of had me at the edge of my seat or anything. I was just kind of watching it for one hour and I was like, okay, um, not bad. I really hope the story kind of heats up in the next episode and really starts to get everything going because as of right now I'm kind of disappointed in the first episode like I thought there was going to be a lot more spectacular stuff happening to kind of get the hype going for the show but as of right now I think if you're not a huge fan of Halo and you watch that first episode I wouldn't be surprised if they lose a lot of viewers for episode 2. But that's it for my thoughts guys let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you guys want to see more Halo content on the channel make sure you like and subscribe because I'm going to be making a video after every single episode and if you're a Marvel fan too we've got Moon Knight next week and I'm going to see Morbius on Thursday so there's going to be a lot of Marvel and Halo content coming to the channel so you don't want to miss out but anyways guys that's it for the video thank you again for watching I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video